friends in the cast of ER and a bunch of supermodels. Oh. Swimsuit models. Yeah. And we were in kind of close proximity to one another for a few hours early on a Saturday morning. Matthew Perry is a Canadian-American actor, executive producer, and comedian who's best known for portraying Chandler Bing on the NBC sitcom Friends from 1994 till 2004. Perry and the rest of the six-member main cast unit were each earning a million dollars per episode by 2002, thanks to the sitcom's enormous popularity. Perry has appeared in a variety of films, including Fool's Rush In, Almost Heroes, The Whole Nine Yards, and Seventeen Again. In addition to the short-lived television series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip, when he portrayed Benny in the video game Fallout New Vegas in 2010, he broadened his resume to include both video games and voiceover work. DVD, and I want to take my time with it. Right. You know? <laughs> it's been a big morning. Yeah. I want to take my time with it. Right. So I'm watching this thing for about a half an hour. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Matthew Langford Perry, but is also known as Matt. He was born August 19, 1969 in Williamstown, Massachusetts, making him 51 at the time of this production. He stands at six feet tall or 183 centimeters. Matthew Perry loved playing tennis while growing up in Canada and became a top-ranked junior tennis player and becoming the gentleman that he is. Riding, ice hockey, and softball are some of Matthew's other hobbies. Perry's also a fan of the Fallout video game series. He gave Ellen DeGeneres a copy of Fallout 3 on an episode of The Ellen DeGeneres Show in 2009. As a result of this, Obsidian Entertainment decided to cast him in the next iteration of the series, Fallout New Vegas. In 1995, Perry dated Yasmeen Bleed. From 1995 to 1996, he dated Julia Roberts. In order for Roberts to appear on Friends, he had to write and submit a quantum physics paper to Roberts. From 2006 to 2012, he dated Lizzie Kaplan. In November 2020, he was engaged to Molly Hurwitz, a literary manager. They were first linked in December 2019 when they were said to have spent Christmas together. Perry confirmed it in June 2021 that he had called off the engagement, telling People magazine, sometimes things just don't work out, and this is one of them. I wish Molly the best. Once you're done, you're done. Right. You need that movie to come right off. Yeah. That movie has to be off. Yeah. It's perplexing to me how something so wonderful... Perry was born in Massachusetts in the town of Williamstown. Susan Marie Morrison, his mother, is a former press secretary for former Canadian Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau and a Canadian journalist. His father, John Bennett Perry, is an actor and former model from the United States. His parents split before he was one year old and his mother married radio journalist Keith Morrison, who was from Canada. He was raised in Ottawa, Ontario by his mother and attended Ashbury College. He developed a passion for lawn tennis as a child and rose to become a top-ranked junior player. Perry went from Ottawa to Los Angeles at the age of 15 to study acting and graduated from the Buckley School in Sherman Oaks in 1987. While still in high school, he pursued improv comedy at the LA Connection in Sherman Oaks. In the television series Second Chance, he played Chaz Russell. After 13 episodes, Second Chance was renamed Boys Will Be Boys, with the plots refocusing on Chaz and his friends escapades. Perry stayed in Los Angeles after the show's single season and made his feature debut in the 1988 film A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon. Perry had a three-episode role on Growing Pains in 1989 as Carol Seaver's boyfriend, Sandy, who died in the hospital following a drunk driving accident. Perry was cast as a regular on the 1990 CBS series Sydney, portraying the younger brother of Valerie Bertinelli's main character. In the midst of his many ongoing guest roles on television, he made a brief appearance as Roger Azarian on Beverly Hills 90210 in 1991. Perry's next starring role on television was in the ABC sitcom Home Free, which aired for only 11 episodes in the spring of 1993, and was followed by a sitcom pilot named LAX 2194. He tried to get Marta Kaufman and David Crane, both of whom he'd worked with on Dream On, to audition for the pilot of Six of One, eventually known as Friends. 
He was initially passed over for an audition, owing the previous obligations to the pilot LAX-2194. However, he landed the part of Chandler Bing after finally getting a reading. Friends was a big hit, and Perry and his co-stars became international celebrities, something Perry had aspired for a long time. In 2004, he told the New York Times, There was steam coming out of my ears. I wanted to be famous so much. In 2002, he and Matt LeBlanc were nominated for an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series for their work on the show, but they lost to Ray Romano. Perry acted in films such as Fools Rush In with his father, John Bennett Perry, and Salma Hayek, Almost Heroes, Three to Tango, The Whole Nine Yards, and its sequel, The Whole Ten Yards, and Serving Sarah. While Perry is most recognized for his comedic parts, he's also carved out a career in drama, most notably in Aaron Sorkin's The West Wing, where he played associate White House counsel Joe Quincy. In 2003 and 2004, he received two Emmy nominations for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series for his three cameos in the series, once in the fourth season and once in the fifth. Following the conclusion of Friends, Perry made his directorial debut in an episode of the fourth season of the American comedy drama Scrubs, in which he made a guest appearance as Murray Marks, a traffic control team operator at a local airport. Perry starred in Aaron Sorkin's drama Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip from 2006 to 2007. Perry signed on to feature in the NBC comedy pilot Go On, written and produced by former Friends writer-producer Scott Silver, on March 1, 2012. In May of 2012, the project was taken up for a second season. Perry portrayed Ryan King, a sportscaster who uses forced therapy sessions to help him move on after his wife's death. Fans of the sitcom will be overjoyed to learn that Matthew Perry has released his very own Friends-inspired merchandise. The products are already in high demand, and Perry is on his way to making a lot of money. Turn the volume down, and then I'll go to sleep. Right. Right. So I press volume on the TV, and I can see the little nozzle go to zero on right. the wall unit thing. Yeah. But I can still hear it. By the end of Friends, Perry and his co-stars had amassed a total of $90 million in earnings. But it isn't the end of the story. Friends reruns continue to pay Perry and his co-stars millions of dollars every year. In total, this equates to annual profits of nearly $20 million per person. In keeping with their long-standing habit of negotiating salary together, Matthew, along with the other Friends cast members, joined forces for this year's reunion episode to obtain their millions. For appearing in the reunion episode, the cast is claimed to be paid between $2.5 million and $3 million each. Perry also launched Friends-inspired merchandise prior to the Friends The Reunion special. Matthew Perry's net worth is $120 million. Perry has had a number of properties in Los Angeles over the years, including a $23 million ultra-luxury penthouse and a Malibu beach house that he sold in January 2021. Perry's gorgeous beach house was first offered for just under $15 million in August 2020, and the Friends actor eventually sold it for a cool $13.1 million. The magnificent glass property has been owned by the actor since 2011, when he paid $12 million in cash. Perry's new pad, like his Malibu beach property, has a lovely interior and breathtaking vistas. The modern cottage, which is located in the affluent Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles, is smaller in size, but equally as attractive. The cars you'll find in Perry's garage include a Porsche Panamera, Audi R8, BMW 6 Series,
BMW Z8, and a Lincoln Navigator. 